Amen. Amen. And thank you, Pastor Andrew. What's your name, Andrew? What's really good is, is seeing <coughs> Pastor Andrew and Pastor Liana standing up here because, as Pastor Andrew said, I was his teacher. You find some of Andrew and Liana aici. Come on, suppose Andrew, you are your first invitator. And, and as a teacher, you always tell your pupils that they should go further than you have, that they should be on another level. And pastors Andrew and Liana have both gone way beyond wherever I could go. So, so yeah. So it's good. You know, since the inception of this church, pastors Michael and Marion have always had a vision for an international church. So, so when I'm asked to preach here, I thank God because you as a church are the fulfillment <laughs> of pastors Michael and Marion's vision. And you wouldn't be here without their prayers. And neither would Pastor Liana. She is the firebrand preacher. Yes, <laughs> 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 that, God, that pastors Michael and Marion have prayed for and it has been my privilege to watch her grow into her calling. You know, all of you have left your homeland just as Pastor Liana did and she needed to leave her homeland in order to position herself correctly to fill her purpose. And just as the Israelites had to leave Egypt and then they spent time in the wilderness before she could, they could enter the promised land because God had to prepare them Pastor Liana also was prepared by God she changed from being a total people pleaser to setting her face like flint towards heaven she totally stopped relying on herself. <laughs> emptied herself of selfish ambition. And enabled God to mold her into the powerhouse standing before you today. Truly, you are an inspiration. <laughs> you give me such a hard time. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> you know, no change is easy. <laughs> but when we choose to push through, <laughs> then, God, <laughs> then God will always come out the other side. For us. Okay. <clears throat> Înțeleg că astăzi creștinii ortodoxi sărbătoresc în vieria Domnului nostru Iisus Hristos, deci Paște fericit! That was the real reason I saw Valley yesterday. Wow. <laughs> you better translate for the English people because they don't. Know. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's it for today. I'll practice more for another time. <laughs> Basically, for the English people, I just said I understand that uh, Orthodox Christians in Romania celebrate Easter today, so happy Easter. So that's what I was saying. Okay. And. At Easter we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. And Pastor Andrew has already said that we are 
talking tonight about the power of the resurrection și of God. And we're going to look at it from the point of view of what does that mean for us? Ce, ce asta noi? Because unless Jesus had risen from the dead, că dacă nu ar fi Isus din morți, we would have no power today. Noi nu am, am, am avea pic de so can we turn to Acts chapter 1, deci, which I think is one of the ones on the thingy? Okay. I don't know where I've got my thing in there. Verse 8. Versetul 8. Oh, there. Oh, that's nice. Okay, but you shall receive power dar voi veți primi o putere when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Când se va coboră Duhul Sfânt peste voi. Okay, so why do we need to be clothed with power? Și de ce avem nevoie să fim îmbrăcați cu putere? In the amplified version, in, in uh, versiunea amplificată, it says power, spune că puterea, ability, spune putere, abilitate, efficiency, eficiență, and might. Și tărie. So why do we need this power? De ce avem nevoie de această putere? Well, if we read the rest of the verse, dacă citim restul versetului, then we'll find out. Aflăm And you shall be witnesses to me. In Jerusalem, in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, și Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So we need the power in order to be the witnesses. You know, when Jesus said this verse, they, the disciples were not powerful. Uh, nu erau they weren't efficient nu erau and they weren't mighty witnesses of the gospel. Și nu erau martori a they knew that God had raised Jesus Christ from the dead. They'd spent time with the resurrected Lord. They'd walked with him. They'd talked with him. They'd sat at his feet as he taught them. But when he ascended into heaven, they didn't immediately rush back to Jerusalem and start preaching the gospel. What they did was, they went back to Jerusalem, but they hid away. They went to the upper room. And without the power of God, we hide away as well. But the gospel will never be preached if we hide away. So it is the power of God that leads to salvation. It's the power of God that enables us to preach. Amen. Amen. So what did the disciples do in that upper room? This isn't on the overhead. I'm just going to read it. The disciples went back to Jerusalem and when they had entered the city, they mounted to the upper room. Okay, verse 14. And they, all these with their minds in full agreement, devoted themselves steadfastly to Prayer. Și spune că toți aceștia stăruiau într-un gând, în rugăciune și în cereri. În, în, în versiunea engleză spune că ei s-au devotat pe ei înșiși rugăciunii. So they used the time wisely. Deci ei au folosit timpul ăsta cu multă înțelepciune. Because they prayed. Pentru că s-au rugat. They had witnessed Jesus. Ei au fost, au, au, l-au văzut pe Iisus. Living a life of prayer. Trăind o viață de rugăciune. They understood the need to pray. Ei au înțeles nevoia de a se ruga. They had seen Jesus get up early in the morning and go off into, a, into the desert and up the hills and in the mountains to pray, to commune with his Father, to get daily instructions from headquarters. Okay, I don't know what that is. If Jesus needed to pray. They recognized they needed to pray too. They'd even asked Jesus to tell them how to pray. So if they needed it, if Jesus needed it, then we need it. It is the foundation 
abundanția of us receiving the power of God. Ca noi să primim puterea lui Dumnezeu. So what is prayer? Deci ce este rugăciunea? It's just dialogue with God. Este dialogul cu Dumnezeu. But it is a vital part. Dar este o parte vitală. Of every area of our lives. A fiecare are ale vieților noastre. We should be praying at home. Noi trebuie să ne rugăm acasă with our families, cu familiile noastre about our jobs, despre slujbele noastre in church, în biserică walking down the streets, umblând pe stradă our whole lives should be prayer. toată viața noastră trebuie să fie o rugăciune prayer stills our busyness. rugăciunea um, e mai puternică decât ocuparea noastră and it focuses us on eternal matters. și ne, ne focalizează pe lucrurile eterne It is in prayer este în rugăciune that Father God can reveal his plans and purposes for us. Dumnezeu Tatăl ne revelează planurile și scopurile lui pentru noi. In fact, the Bible tells us de fapt, Biblia ne spune that we should pray without ceasing. Că trebuie să ne rugăm fără încetare. In other words, always cu alte cuvinte, tot timpul we should have a dialogue going with Father God. Noi trebuie să avem un dialog care se desfășoară cu Dumnezeu. Every area of our lives needs to be immersed in prayer. Fiecare domeniu trebuie să fie îmbibat în rugăciune. Prayer is like the engine room rugăciunea este ca și motorul that enables the machine to work. Care, care face ca o mașină să poată să meargă. So perhaps then we should look at what the disciples prayed in the upper room. Și atunci poate că ar trebui să ar fi bine să ne uităm la ce s-a rugat ucenicii în odaia de sus. But the difficulty with that is dificultatea cu asta este we're only given one little glimpse că ni se dă doar o imagine mică. And that was when they were choosing who should take the place of Judas. Și asta a fost când ucenicii um, alegeau cine să ia locul lui Iuda. So perhaps it's easier to see the effects of their prayer. And this is when the power of God falls. A fost momentul când puterea lui Dumnezeu a căzut. When they received the same resurrection power. Au primit aceeași putere a învierii lui Isus. That raised Jesus Christ from the dead. pe Isus din morți. So in Acts 2 it Ce says this. Spune următorul lucru. Verses 1 to 4. De la 1 la 4. În ziua 50-mi era toți împreună în același loc. Deodată a venit din cer un sunet ca vâjitul unui vânt puternic și a umplut toată casa unde erau ei. Niște limbi ca de foc au fost văzute împărțindu-se printre ei și s-au așezat câte una pe fiecare din ei. Și toți s-au umplut de Duh Sfânt și au început să vorbească în alte limbi după cum le dădea Duhul să vorbească. So they were all filled with the Holy Spirit deci and began to toți, speak in different tongues. Toți au fost umpluți de Duhul Sfânt și toți au început să vorbească în limbi noi. That was the first change. The Asta a fost prima schimbare. The second one comes in verse 14. A doua vine în versetul 14. When Peter stands with the eleven and raises his voice and addresses the crowd that has gathered. Când Petru s-a sculat în picioare cu cei 11 și a ridicat glasul. These men who had been so fearful before, și a spus, acești acești bărbați iudei are now speaking out with boldness. Care înainte erau plini de frică, acum vorbesc cu îndrăzneală. And then if we skip down to verse 41, dacă mergem la versetul 41, we see that those who, who heard his message, vedem că cei care au primit propovăduirea lui and accepted his words, și au, au, au primit acele cuvinte, were baptized. A fost botezați. And about 3000 people were added to the church și that day. Și aproximativ 3000 de oameni au fost s-a adăugat bisericii într-o zi. And then in verse 43, și apoi în versetul 43, we see that, that uh, a sense of awe came upon every soul. Vedem că un, 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 semn, un, un, un sentiment al fricii a venit peste toți. God himself was reverenced. Dumnezeu însuși a fost reverențiat. He was honored. El a fost onorat. And the people were constantly praising God. And daily the Lord added to their number. That is the power of the resurrection Christ. What are the effects of our prayer times? When we pray, God begins to move. When we pray, the Spirit of God is made manifest. We should expect results. Because we have the same power living on the inside of us that raised Christ from the dead. 
But da. if all we do is pray, Dacă tot ce facem este să ne rugăm, we will remain ineffective. Vom if the disciples had never got off their knees nu s-ar fi pe and started to speak out, no one would have got saved that day. Nu s-ar fi în ziua aia. So when we prayed up, când noi rugați, we have to step out noi să and by faith live an overcoming life. Because as Pastor Andrew said earlier, we are overcomers. Christ overcame for us. He took all the sin and the sickness and and the bad stuff. So that we can live an overcoming life. And the Bible tells me that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The Bible tells me that my new nature in Christ Jesus is to overcome, is to prosper, is to succeed in everything that I do. The devil is defeated. Therefore, I no longer have to live a life of misery and poverty. In fact, I have no excuse to live a victim life. So I take my stand as an overcomer. I see myself as the head and not the tail. I am soaring in life like an eagle. I am blessed in the city and blessed in the country. I know I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I know I am above my circumstances. Because I recognize that I have been seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. He has given me authority in his name. El mi-a dat mie autoritate în numele lui. So I rule and reign. Deci eu astăzi am uh, eu domnesc and live a life empowered by God. împuternicită de Dumnezeu. I know eu știu. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. care mă întărește. So I pray. Deci mă rog. I live an overcoming life in the power of God. But I also need to look at my attitude and my focus. Because it's easy to make our lives all about me, myself and I. And when I live a self-centered life, I am not living in the will of God. What is the will of God? So many people, they come to me and they go, I don't know what the will of God's life is for me. I don't know what I should be doing. I don't know where I should be going. What should I do? How do I find out what the will of God is? The will of God is very simple. We are Christ followers. What did Christ do? What did he say? In Luke chapter 4, I think this one's on the thing, isn't it? Verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news, the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to announce release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to send forth as delivered those who are oppressed, who are downtrodden, bruised, crushed, and broken down by calamity to proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord. The day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. The will of God 
Voia lui is for us to do what Jesus did. Este că noi să facem ce a făcut Isus. Yeah. We're called to heal the sick. Noi suntem chemați să vindecăm pe cei We're mai called to set the captives noi free. Noi suntem chemați să eliberăm pe cei captivi. We're called to proclaim the day of salvation. Noi suntem chemați să proclamăm ziua mântuirii. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. The same spirit that came upon him dwells in me. The same power that raised Christ from the dead enables every one of us not just to live an overcoming life but to open the eyes of the blind, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to lead others into the, the throne room of God. We have purpose. We have truth. We have a message to share. And because of the power of God, we can share it with the same boldness that those first disciples did on the day of Pentecost. We have been clothed with power from on high. God himself dwells on the inside of us. Every moment of every hour of every day, we are clothed. God has poured out his spirit on us. He's given us the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible tells us that he gives his gifts freely. He isn't sorry for pouring out his power on us. He isn't sorry for filling us with his Holy Spirit. He's delighted. Why? Because he knows that we are then fully equipped to do the work of the kingdom. He knows that he has given us everything that pertains to life and to godliness. And he has promised never to leave us. Never to forsake us. Never, 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 never. We need to catch this. God himself, the creator of the universe, the maker of heaven and earth, dwells on the inside of us. So we have the word of God right here in our mouths. Therefore, every single word that we speak should bring forth life. It's his indwelling Holy Spirit that enables us to live powerful, power filled, overcoming, hell destroying, yoke breaking, sickness busting, kingdom of God advancing lives. This needs to become a rhema word for us today. We need, we need to hear it. We need to get out of our heads and into our hearts. We need to catch the voice of the Spirit. None of us can ask for more power. We used to sing a song. More power. But we can't ask for more power. There is no more power than God himself. He's filled us with himself. We are totally filled with the power of God. Your light can't shine any brighter. Because there's no light brighter than God. But Pastor Michael said this this morning. You just have to switch the switch. 
întrerupător. You've got to stop hiding away. Trebuie să să încet, să încetezi din a te mai ascunde. You've got to stop living in unbelief. Și trebuie să încetezi în a mai trăi în necredință. And start walking every day in faith. Să umbli în fiecare zi prin credință. You might not know what the next step looks like. Poate că tu nu știi ca, cum arată pasul următor. But God does. Dar Dumnezeu știe. And he's already empowered you to Și move. Și deja te-a împuternicit să te miști în acea direcție. And you have a great cloud of witnesses deja, cheering you forward. Tu deja ai un mare nor de martori care deja te, te uh, aplaudă și te încurajează. You just have to take that step of faith. Tu trebuie doar să iei acel pas la credințe. You have to trust him enough to step out of your comfort zone. Trebuie să te încrezi în el de ajuns încât să, păș- să păiești în afară din zona ta de confort. Yes, it's going into the unknown. Da, asta înseamnă că păiești în necunoscut. But by faith you can grab hold of everything that God God has for you. And you can, can run your race knowing that you cannot possibly lose because the devil is already defeated and you have the power of God you have the Holy Spirit to lead you to guide you to teach you to counsel you So you need to just step out and move forward with him. Yes, it's scary. But do it afraid. God promises to be at your right hand. Okay. So what is the purpose of the power of God? We've already said it. To save souls. To demonstrate and reveal the kingdom of heaven. To a lost and dying world. We cannot afford to stay in the upper room. We need to pray as if everything depends on God. But then we need to get up and go as if everything depends on us. Because he has ordained that we are his eyes și a aranjat ca noi să fim ochii lui. That we are his ears. Ca noi să fim urechile lui. That we are his hands. Ca noi să fim mâinile lui. That we are his feet. Ca noi să fim picioarele lui. That we are his heartbeat. Ca noi să fim bătaia inimii lui. That we are his vessels to use as he wills. Ca să le folosească așa cum vrea el. The Bible tells us that we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. The temple carries the glory of God. This is a weighty treasure for us. But Christ says, come unto me, all you that are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. He says his burden is easy. And his yoke is light. So when we spend time in his presence, we begin to recognize and live in his rest. So we're doing the work. And that is hard work. But we we work to advance the kingdom. And we do it in his strength. Not in our strength. So even as we seek to grow the Romanian church, even as we're reaching out to other Romanians in the city, we rest in him. We do it in the power that he gave us. The burden is easy. The yoke is light. Because it's his work. It's his strength. It's his power. It's his anointing. And it's his love. We just have the honor and privilege of being co-workers with him and sharing in this work. You know, before the world was even formed, God himself chose us for such a time as this. He poured out his life for us. He demonstrated the power 
by re- being raised from the dead. He's given new life to us. And he has sent the gift of his spirit to enable us to step into destiny and into purpose with him. But perhaps you're here tonight and you've never actually received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Tonight I want you to know that God loves you. And he longs to empower you to live a successful and fulfilling life. Or perhaps you're here tonight and you know that you haven't been building your relationship with Jesus. Maybe you used to be on fire, but now you've become lukewarm or cold. Maybe God has used you greatly in the past, but lately it seemed as if there is no work for you to do. And you feel forgotten or confused or lost. Perhaps you are being used by God, but you know that God has more for you to step into. And you want a greater depth in your relationship with God. It could be that you're not yet filled with the Spirit. And so you haven't been clothed with His power. You love God, but you know that your life isn't being effective. If that's you, then Pastor Liana and I would love to pray with you and for you. But that takes a step of faith as well. We've been talking a lot about being empowered by the Lord. And the need to take that step of faith. So if any of those things apply to you, then I'm asking you to take a step of faith and come forward for prayer. Because it's easy to sit in our seats. It's easy to go yes to everything. It's easy to even go home and go, that was quite a good message. Yeah, I need the power of God more. And then not walk into that power. Not walk into that place of victory. Not overcome. And so we need to take a step of faith. So I'm going to pray. And then if you would like to come forward for prayer, then then Pastor Liana and I are both here to pray with you.